Bangalore, one of India's most dynamic cities. This once quiet and tranquil capital of the South Indian state of Karnataka is now a leading South Asian high technology center, attracting thousands of new workers to its burgeoning information services sector. Bangalore, the Garden City, has undergone an incredible transformation in a short space of time. Its people now lead their lives in the fast lane. Their continual search for new economic opportunities propels the demand for electric power, the critical ingredient fueling the city's economic engine. But Bangalore's hustle and bustle begins to fade at the edge of the city. Here, as the urban landscape gives way to the countryside, it is Mother Nature who sets the pace. In much of India and elsewhere in rural South Asia, this pace has a timeless quality. Just as their parents and grandparents did before them, the farming families of 21st century Karnataka till the land, plant seeds, nourish the soil, and harvest their crops in a never-ending cycle of seasons, year after year, generation upon generation. However, today, as never before, the people of the countryside struggle to survive. For the forces of nature can indeed be unforgiving. After many seasons without enough rainfall, the soil cracks and hardens. The earth no longer responds to the farmer's touch. And so, when the readily available sources of water vanish, the bore wells go deeper and deeper. As the drill bit comes up dry, the families themselves sink ever deeper into debt and sometimes despair. The men, women, and children who live in rural communities often feel they are alone and must deal with their problems in isolation. It's time for a different approach. With the support of the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, working in cooperation with the government of Karnataka, this new effort is bringing people together allowing them to voice their concerns and hear about new alternatives and options. News of the Presque Initiative has inspired local people to find out more about it. Several concrete examples of local empowerment have been initiated under Presque, including the establishment of a model community resource center in Gubi Taluk. Here, farmers and their families seek immediate assistance with electricity issues and learn about water conservation techniques and best farming practices. The center also offers lectures, tours to demonstration farms, internet access, and up-to-date information on videos, CDs, and in print. Farmers visiting the center from nearby towns and villages now want resource centers of their own, and, in response, Presque is developing mobile resource centers to serve these areas. Presque has also undertaken a major outreach program, allowing rural electricity users to air grievances and discuss their most pressing problems. <laughs> Yet with the Tana Sumarunda 
ಎಂಟು ಅವರ್ ವಿದ್ಯುತ್ತನ್ನು ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ಕುಡಿಯೋ ನೀರಿಗೆ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಕೇಳ್ತೀನಿ Prest responded to the farmers concerns by commissioning and distributing a well received motivational film Back to the Soil. The film speaks directly to the farmers in their own language, demonstrating Prest's understanding of their situation and inspiring and encouraging them to seek out and implement practical solutions to the challenges they face. Hai ganasta dela nimge? Maade pare. Ha. Tota ela baala chanaga maadidire. ನಿಮಗೆ ನೀರು ಕರೆಂಟು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೇಕಲ್ವಾ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಅಂತಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೋ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನನಗೂ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಆದರೆ ಬಂದ್ ಕರೆಂಟು ಮತ್ತು ನೀರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ತೋಟ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನೀವು ನೋಡಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ತರಕಾರಿ ರಾಗಿ ಜೋಳ ತೊಗರೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವೈಡ್ ಇಂಟರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಔಟ್ ರೀಚ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಬೀಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಟು ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟಾಲಕ್ಸ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ to widen the circle of empowerment presk trained a core group of farmers to conduct surveys on rural electricity and water usage and best farming practices this core group will train hundreds of additional farmers to expand and replicate the survey process in other communities throughout the state The surveys have changed the way farmers think about water and electricity usage and the results will be used by the farmers themselves to begin managing available resources more efficiently. The Presk team also provided additional training sessions for the Gram Panchayat members to strengthen their ability to deal with electricity distribution issues at the local level. Presk is working and showing results. One major impact is that Gram Panchayat members who were previously disengaged from the electricity situation in their communities have now stepped forward. They've drafted letters to the local distribution company indicating their willingness to shoulder responsibility for managing electricity tasks. Presk has made a genuine impact on rural society in Karnataka. participants now feel that their concerns are being heard and addressed they are learning valuable lessons that change is possible that there are new ways of dealing with many of the crucial problems they face with water crops and electric power and they themselves are learning how to take on the responsibility for managing electricity distribution issues in their communities a crucial element of the presk process thanks to presk people in the community men women and children local government officials and self help groups now have a resource that they can turn to for support and the presk model is one that can be adapted and replicated almost anywhere it is a bridge that connects rural society to the world of the future the first of many seeds that will germinate into a bountiful harvest.